Welcome. It's going to be a great day. Let's get started. The Plausal tool can be used in many, many different ways. For example, it can be the final art. That's it. No more pasta cozy. Or it can be used to sketch just to get the feel for what you want to draw. Or another way it can be used is construction to build your basic shapes before you use the final medium of your choice, whether that's ink or paint. So we're gonna look at using the pencil for construction here. Now here's a little chart, I guess you would call it, of different body types that I've drawn. And no matter how many different body types there are, they're all constructed based on shapes. And there are a few different ways you can go about that. One is using a bunch of circles to build your shape, your object. Another way is using blocks. And another way is a combination of the two, which would create tubes or cones to build your shapes. Now, in this case, we're going to apply everything to the human body. Since that's the thing most artists will be drawing, unless you're into still lives or landscapes or drawing fish. Well, even fish have to be constructed. So let's not fool ourselves. Okay, let's take a look at using circles to build a figure. And this simply involves using circular motions to build circles on top of circles on top of circles to finally have a figure. And an advantage of this is that the figure has more motion, it's more lifelike, it's more rhythmic. Oh, don't worry about that head. There's more space above it. That's just the toolbar covering up some of it. And I chose this method first because it's more organic because I didn't like the technical side of art, drawing graphs and using a grid and figuring out measurements. And I moved the paper here just so you can see that I was telling the truth and there is headroom there. I know it's bugging some of you. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I used this circular method first, but I abandoned it as I gained more knowledge and it didn't fit in with what I learned. So sometimes you have to abandon what you hold dear in the face of certain truths. So I didn't hold on to it that long. Now I haven't drawn like this in a very long time. So it's probably not as good or even the way I did when I started. Well, it probably wasn't that good anyway, since I was just beginning my artistic journey. In any case, if this is a method that you choose to use, there's nothing wrong with it and you can get a lot of mileage out of it. So more power to you. Now let's move to using blocks to create the figure. The advantages here is that using blocks make it so much easier to draw a figure in perspective. You can line up all your parallel lines, all your perpendicular lines, and you figure it looks much more authentic. Also using blocks, the figure seems to have more weight to it, seems to be more solid. I like to use the hard tip pencil tool when I'm sketching. I find it has a better look than the others. Well, actually, I shouldn't lie because I created my own custom pencil tool for sketching that I think it looks better. But you don't have that, so in the absence of that, I suggest using the hard tip tool. However, feel free to choose what you like. And another advantage is that it helps with drawing your shadows, uh, placing your shadows, I should say, because you can place it on the big sections first. And here's my light source. You determine your light source and you know one side has the shadow. Here's a glitch. Don't worry about it. We'll just keep moving on. 
Now this light source helps me to stay consistent with my placement of shadows, especially as I add more detail with smaller and more distinctive shapes. And that brings us to the method I use now, which is a weird combination of using tubes and cones to build figures. I use blocks now specifically for figures in extreme perspective. Now I'm giving you options here because I want you to come up with your own way with what works for you. By giving you options, I hope that helps you to make a more informed decision with your pencil, tool, and how you want to build your figure. Once again, I determine where my light is coming from. And this is a good trick to use to help you keep your light source consistent and with your placement of shadows. By knowing the direction of your light source and putting these little sun or light things here, it helps as a good reminder. It's a visual reminder that you don't forget. Also, also helps you prevent from just putting shadows somewhere just because they look cool even though it may not be consistent with your light source. Another advantage of this method is that my figure looks closer to the final, and that saves a lot of time too, because I'm not building up a series of sketches to get to the final look. Now also because you're using digital, you don't have to keep drawing on the same layer. You can use another layer, to add more detail to your figure, or you may choose to draw it on another layer, but still keep that layer because keeping the sketch lines can help add life to a figure, to any drawing. Because I'm sure we've all experienced where the drawing becomes stiff after we've done a sketch and then go to the final drawing. So you don't have to keep them on separate layers and make that layer disappear. Also, it's important to mention here that no matter which method you use to draw the figure, it only works if you know anatomy. I mean, know it. Learn the names of the muscles, learn how to connect, and it has to be second nature to you because I'm drawing this all out of my head. And I'm not looking at any anatomy books or anything. And this is what you want to do uh, drawings faster and save some time. And I'm not talking about speed from a point of getting it done in 5.6 seconds. I'm talking about speed where it's, you're not being hindered by thinking about anatomy, thinking about what, where the deltoid goes. You know where the deltoid goes because you spent the time to learn it. Now, this is a quickie of using another layer with inks to finalize the drawing. I'm not going to finish it here or get precise right now because we are done. Well, that's it for today. If you feel you learned something, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, just create.